Children's Librarian with the San Antonio Public Library. Today I want to show you three simple things that you can make with packaged food boxes. I used two different kinds of boxes in this video. I used empty cereal boxes and an empty um, macaroni and cheese box. So I want to show you the three things I made. I made little mini notebooks. A puppet theater and a toy car garage. So now I want to show you how to make the things that I made. So the first was our notebooks. Um, what I did is I took a mac and cheese box. Um, if you're making it yourself you can use any size box you like. I just felt like making a mini um, notebook. And what I did is I cut along the edges. That left me with this piece. So this piece um, I then folded. And depending on how you want your notebook to look, um, you have to fold it in a certain way. So if you want the box design to show on the outside of your cover, then fold it so you can still see your um, design or if you want to be able to make your own design on the cover you fold it so that the box design is on the inside then what you do once you have your cover ready is you take some paper I used line pa lined paper but you can use any type of paper you like. Um, maybe you have construction paper or printer paper. Uh, whatever you have will work. And I folded it in half, hot dog style. Now you would fold your cover around your paper, trace along the edges, and cut it out. Then stick it in between your cover and put a couple staples in one on each end of your notebook. You may want your parents to help with this part because it's a little bit of a squeeze to try to get it through the cardboard and the paper. And then um, you can decorate it how you like. If you left the cardboard piece out, you could paint it, you could use markers as I did, you could use crayons, whatever you have at home, you can use. All right, so we showed you the first one that I made. Now here is the second one, my puppet theater. This one I really enjoyed making um, because I got the basic idea from the computer, but um, I came up with some fun ways to customize it. So what I did first is I cut along all the edges, as you can see. Um, so that I took the front of the box off. Then what I did is I peeled the rest of the box apart and I folded it back together so that the inside of the box was showing on the outside. Then I took some staples and I stapled each corner so it held together again. And my idea with making it like this is so that it can stand on its own. Then I thought, well, I needed to have an opening, so I used um, a ruler, I measured it out, and I got the lines um, pretty straight, but you don't have to do that. Um, what you could do is you could use your box lid and trace it, and that'll give you a pretty straight line. Then you do need to cut out the box with scissors. I would again suggest that you have your parents help you with this part, at least with getting started, um, because you do kind of have to put the scissor, put a hole through the middle of the box. Um, but don't throw away that piece because you'll use it to make something else. So uh, once I got it to this part, I thought, hmm, well, puppet theaters, usually have some type of a curtain. Um, 
and I thought about how I could do, make a curtain of my own. And what I came up with, I made a curtain rod out of straws. So um, I fit two straws together and then I stapled the straw on either side of my box just before the opening. And then um, I came up with two different ways that you can have a curtain for your theater. So I used a, one of the sheets from a coupon booklet and I threaded that through. So you could do that. But if you happen to have something like fabric, you could also use, um, this is a piece of felt, but if you have cotton fabric, really whatever you have will work. Then I thought, well, if I have a puppet theater, I'm going to need puppets, right? So I made some very, very simple finger puppets out of construction paper. And what I did is I took my construction paper, I wrapped it around my finger, cut it so that it was long enough to secure to the back, and then I put tape in between to hold it together. I don't know if you can see the tape. Then I kind of flattened it a little bit and I drew my design on. Now, um, originally I was thinking of doing the three little pigs, but once I drew it, I kind of thought it looked a little bit more like a bunny. So I did the three pink bunnies. So let me show you my bunnies. The three pink bunnies. And, of course, ah, the big bad wolf. So then, with your puppet theater and your box, you can put on a little show for your friend, family. Um, you could record it and send it to your family or friends. Um, I think that would be really fun. But then, remember I said that you should keep the middle part that you cut out? Well, that's because when I was thinking about my theater, I thought, hmm, well, the other thing that puppet theaters also have is scenery, right? So, I drew some things on card the cardboard, and I cut them out, and then put a little bit of tape on the back and then you can tape it onto the front of your puppet theater. So since we're doing the three pink bunnies and the big bad wolf, I thought that um, little pig number one would make a little house out of the top half of a carrot. But late at night, she would look up at her ceiling and think, hmm, I love carrots maybe just a little nibble and she would nibble and nibble and nibble and every night she would nibble and nibble and nibble until finally she had no house left when the big bad wolf showed up and so she ran to her sister and her sister had made a house out of a glove that she found in the garden but that glove had a little tiny hole on it and so at night the water would drip 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 through the hole right onto her head and when the big bad wolf showed up he climbed right through that hole and I was trying to think of another type of item that the three little bunnies would make into a house because just like us they're making do with what they have um, but I haven't come up with that part yet maybe y'all can help me figure that out all right my last craft is the toy garage so um, what I did for this craft is I cut the front of the box off and that became my base 
I decorated it with crayons. Um, you can see the little parking spots that I made. I thought you could also draw on a little driveway and that would be pretty fun um, to have a way for the cars to go. Then I used two paper towel rolls and cut each in half and secured the top of my box on with tape as you can see and the last part I did I cut along the center in a big strip and I pushed it down and taped it in place and that's how you make your car garage so I hope you've enjoyed seeing three different ways you can make a craft with a simple cereal box or food package. Um, what do you think you can make with a cereal box? For more information about the services the San Antonio Public Library provides, please visit our website at mysapl.org or call us at 210-207-2500.